Last Friday, I was invited down to St Anne's Cricket Club by John Cross, who runs the Blackpool Football Club Former Players Association, to an evening with Dave Sorella. The football club are noticing that the work I've been doing, so they invited me down to film this. And this was an honour for me, and I'm proud to do it, and I hope you guys out there who've made this channel bigger really appreciate this. I also know that John watches the, this channel, so John, I hope I've done a really good job for you, and I hope you really enjoy this. It was for Dave Sorella, who is a former Blackpool Football Club player who unfortunately has got the onset of Alzheimer's disease. There was lots of ex-former players there, Paul Stewart, there was Mike Davis, Colin Greenall, and lots of others who you're going to see in this video. It's down to you guys subscribing and making this channel bigger. So thank you very much for every one of you that subscribes. Hope you really enjoy this and you see the wonderful work that's done behind the scenes by special people like John Cross, who's a wonderful man. These are the kind of things that go on behind the scenes. And I just hope you enjoy seeing something a little bit different about the very special football club that we all support. So let's take a trip down to St. Anne's Cricket Club and go and have a look at what the night was like. <laughs> So I'm just arriving at uh, St. Anne's Cricket Club for the Dave Sorella charity do tonight, arranged by John Cross of the ex-players. ex-players turned up for a meeting to set up our former players association and tonight is what it's all about yes, I'm here with who put the ball in the Preston net soon for Michael David well, like, yeah. say, say hi Michael it's, uh, hi everybody just tell us a little bit about that wonder goal for about how far out was it if I can remember rightly, it was about 52 yards. Shoot, Leave shoot, him. shoot. Let him shoot. And yes, right. yes. But and it's gone down in this bit. It's like, who put the ball in the press of the net? And it's been Nick telling us. Yes, well, Brett Armourad, who did nothing for the club. We're only messing Brett. So, Hi guys, I, I'm here with Paul, Paul Stewart, one of my favourite players from the Hi 80s. Guys. So we're here for Dave Sorella's charity do. Dave Sorella took you in, you say, did they? Yeah, the yeah, teams? Pat and Dave took me in as a young, body faced angry, uh, know-all young footballer, uh, up and coming with Blackpool. Really took me in as one of their own, and, and, and if I'm honest, part of the family and, and, and really did accept me as, 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 as part of the family and I, I'd like to think that shaped me into being the, the man that I am today that's uh, which is which is unbelievable yeah absolutely fantastic oh there, there he is, is Dave look. in the Talk back the man there's Dave Sorrell here's my second us. dad he's, he's like real Paul's no, no he's, he's <laughs> <laughs> not many people know see he was so, my second dad so what do you think about Simon Sadler Paul oh do you know what I think the whole town is buzzing yeah. um do you know what we we do, what we don't need to do is put too much pressure on the on, oh, I'm saying the lad. Yeah. I think he's younger than me. Let's not put too much pressure. Let him go in there. Obviously, he's very clever at business, and it is a business. But I'm sure everybody's thrilled to bits knowing that he's a lifelong fa Blackpool yeah. fan because our club's not been our club for for too long. And he's got 96.2% of the shares as well. So they I can't know. Come yeah, back, can yeah they? they can't come back. That's even better news. <laughs> it is better. News. Thanks a lot, Paul. My well, pleasure. David McNiven. Scott McNiven. You tell me. Green okay. Scott Dennis Wong. David McNiven. Eric Jones, Preston North End. <laughs> we need to call that one out. <laughs> Hi, David. Paul Stewart. Terry Pashley. Terry Pashley. Spring Hughes. Ian Bowyer. Manchester City. <laughs> <laughs> George Grimshaw. You see Manchester. Manchester. Tommy White, not for us. <laughs> John Roberts, <laughs> Nottingham Forest. <laughs> Dennis Watt, Anglo-Italian winner. Anglo-Italian winner, you in the Anglo-Italian team? Uh, I was, uh, it's a long, long time ago now. I believe it, somebody's told me tonight it's been in the Evening Gazette. And it is a lifetime ago. Terry is there, we both played in it. Uh, my time at Blackpool, there was a lot of internationals, but we had a very, very good... Tony Green? I played with Tony Green, Alan Sudik, the King, Tommy Hutchison. That's why I didn't play a lot. They were 
fabulous players. Yeah. It was a privilege to be at Blackpool and learn from players like that. They were fabulous. But we did have a really good team spirit, and those kind of players looked after the likes of us who were only young boys, and we learnt a lot from them, seeing them day in, day out. They were fabulous players, and I enjoyed my time at Blackpool. How many years at Blackpool? Five years. Five years, and I finished one year in the 80s. Just before, I would have finished the year that Dave Sorella came, and I met Dave Sorella through frequenting this cricket club and we later became thespians in the local amateur dramatics so we enjoyed our time in that. So did you go on from Blackpool to play elsewhere or did you return? I, uh, initially I went to York City where we got to the champ championship today, we got promoted to the second division and unfortunately I was I was going to get a transfer to Sheffield United and I broke my leg seven minutes before the end and after that I did play for the rest of my career but it was always in the third and fourth division. But hey, he still played. I met a lot of wonderful lads, of which Dave became one of my best friends. And we helped run the local team called Blackpool Ren Rovers. And as I say, went on to be thespian actors. So many years ago, when Dave worked at Express, we had a fancy dress party at the Alpine Hotel in Blackpool. Everyone made a real effort. Some people had costumes, others made their own. In walks Dave, dressed in a lounge suit, tie, smart shoes, and hair slicked back. It looks as if he hadn't realised it was fancy dress. He stood at the bar for about 10 minutes, then takes a pair of glasses from his sock pocket and puts them on. He then goes to the middle of the room in full view of everyone and starts to strip off <laughs> to reveal a Superman costume. And he runs around the room doing a great impression of this superhero. The place was in uproar, one of the funniest things we'd seen all night. Clark Kent had nothing on Dave, he stole the show. Mick says, one story I can recall was after a home midweek game, we would occasionally go for a drink. <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> uh, my local was the Catholic club in Aldridge, so we ended up there one night. The local priests were friars, hence the Friary Club. And they were in that night. Dave was driving, so he couldn't have too much, but he didn't mind us all having a few. He then thought I'd better phone home to let the wife know. There were no mobiles in those days, so the priest offered to let Dave use the phone in the house next door. The next thing, Dave returns with a frown on his face. After thanking the priest, we asked Dave what the problem was. He said, well, nothing really. The wife asked me where I was, so I looked round, and the only thing... I could think to say was, I was in a friary. <laughs> she said, you like in your piss, get yourself home immediately. <laughs> it really was a pleasure to play alongside him and enjoy many a beer or 12 with him in the players bar. <laughs> Please wish him the best from me. Can regards, Roy McDonough. <laughs> and from a former Blackpool teammate, Billy Jeffrey. I'm sorry to hear about Dave's illness. In my short time at Blackpool, Anne and I became good friends with his family, but have lost touch over the years. Dave was one of the friendliest and funniest players that I've ever played with in all my years in football. The lads were sat in the bar, and all of a sudden, in the middle of the road, was Mr. Sorella. <laughs> doing a rendition of Singing in the Rain. <laughs> it's in recognition of his achievements as a World Slow player, 1974-1982. So I've asked Eric Spence as chairman of the former Blackpool Players Association. Fabulous night. Thank you very much. I was very apprehensive to start with, um, but I've really enjoyed myself. And thanks for everybody coming along. Thank you. What can I 
to say, like, you know, um, thanks for coming. Um, uh, Paul Stewart, um, Dave McNiven, um, everybody. Uh, people have come from afar. Um, I'm just appreciate it all, like, you know. I mean, not from Walsall. You, you only live up Not from Walsall. No, no, no. no. <laughs> there must be traffic. No, I think, no. I think them things are read about Walsall. They must be. It, it, it made it up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I made it up. Anyway, um, just thanks very much. Um, what else can I say? Thank you. Thank you. Well, before he influenced me in other ways, I agree with John Robertson, because I hated him. I was an 18-year-old kid. I played nearly a season at Blackpool. Uh, so we're about a week before the 82-83 season. And I remember going home and reading in the paper that they bought Dave Sorella and Steve Hetsky in my position. And it absolutely <laughs> killed me. And I'm thinking, so when Sam said in that letter, one of the best players he brought in, because he's not just a strong character, he's a really good fella. And he looked after players. And... The other thing I learned from him and Steve Etsky and Bobby Downs is that you can drink a lot midweek and Dave McNiven. <laughs> you can drink a hell of a lot midweek, but then you can train next day. <laughs> the only time I was ever late for training is that I went out for a night with Dave Sorella and I went out with Steve Etsky. Jim's will have been there somewhere, I'm sure Jim's. I'm not sure if Paul was there or not. And I overslept, and I remember that long walk from the training ground at Squires Gate all the way to the top of the training ground. And I had to go say, Sam, I'm really sorry I'm late. And that was your fault. <laughs> a bit like everybody else, I'd never really come across Dave till they came to the football club. Um, and it was soon obvious that we bought a good, solid, reliable defender. Sorry, Cole. It's all right. <laughs> Um, and he forms that good partnership with Steve Etsky. Um, <laughs> I've just watched films here now, and I, I've been fortunate to stay in football coaching and scouting now at Burnley for 20, nearly 30 years. And I've coached young kids, and they can take a leaf out of Dave's book, because today, in terms of young defenders, all they want to do is funny with it around the back. <laughs> I think defenders are put on the def pitch to defend. I only have to look at John Stones the other night. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great example for young people today to say, that's my job. That's what I'm here to do. Defend my goal. Don't complicate the game. Do what it says. And the simple things are usually the best. And Dave is a great example for that. Just a quick one, I'll never forget as well, Dave said he'd come to Blackpool and get Blackpool out of that division. <laughs> And he damn nearly did. <laughs> this season, 82-83, we were re-elected, if you remember. <laughs> and I brought the squad in my pocket, and the squad is a fantastic squad. How we ever got down there, I don't know. <laughs> and I think the year after, if I'm right, or it, is Pat David was one of them, and Dave McNiven, that we decided then not to have a bonus for that season. And if we got promoted, we all got 10 grand each. Anyone remember? And I think we came about... Fifth, seventh from bottom or something like that. So again, that's what you need. Someone with experience to look after your deals. <laughs> Important news release. Senior citizens are the nation's leading carriers of AIDS. Hearing AIDS, band AIDS, crawl AIDS, walking AIDS, medical AIDS, Government aids, and more to the point, monetary aids for the children. <laughs> the golden years have come at last. I cannot see, I cannot pee, I cannot chew, I cannot screw. My memory shrinks, stinks, my memory shrinks, my hearing stinks, no sense of smell, and I look like hell. <laughs> My body's drooping, got trouble pooping. <laughs> so the golden ears have come at last, well, the golden ears can kiss my ass. <laughs>
This is a really amazing turnout for Dave Sorella, a very popular player, with, you can tell just with the attendance on this, there's lots of people here, very, very busy, very popular player at Blackpool Football Club. I hope you really enjoyed that video, that was a privilege for me to go and video that tonight. So many ex-players there, Paul Stewart, Mike Davis, Colin Greenall, and of course Dave Sorella, who sadly has got the onset of Alzheimer's. So it was quite a touching night and they did a wonderful thing for him. And John Cross, who looks after the ex-players, he's just a, such a lovely man. I have a lot of respect for him and I just, you know, I really hope you enjoy this video. It's a little behind the scenes thing. These, these things are going on all the time. And these things now with the new owners, it, you know they're going to be better and bigger and everything because it was so hard working with Owen Oyston but it's a really wonderful thing and I just really hope hope you enjoy this video I'm, I'm it's just an honor to be invited to that sort of thing and uh, uh, it's all down to you guys as well out there who are subscribing and, and coming with me on this journey because these are the kind of things that that I can do. I know people keep asking me, keep making videos, keep making videos Lee and I will keep making videos because I want you guys to see how wonderful a club we all support so thanks for all your support i do really appreciate thanks for all the message and everything uh i'll just catch you in the next video thank you